And the player introductions are wrapped up. The starting fives for both teams as we're just about ready to get this one started. Welcome everybody, thanks for joining us for NBA Action on 2K Sports. Along with Greg Anthony, Brent Berry, and our sideline reporter David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan. Here are the starters for Los Angeles and for the Bucks. Well, we expect to see Sparks flying down in the paint tonight. Greg, a couple of very talented centers matching up head-to-head -head in this one. And But with the way the game is played today, we could see them battling at the arc. Modern bigs make their presence felt now all over the floor. So the Bucks, his touch from mid-range, that's almost always good. That won't shake his confidence. Nice persistence to tip it back up and in. Identity in Southern California. Having a venue just for the Clippers will help. Knocked away. And here in the first, closing in on two minutes play. A putback. He hangs in there and cashes in on the I think, is their window. That's just it, Kevin. They've got the players to win now. And that has to be the attitude moving forward. Their play Howard plays with a watch on. His timing is tremendous on those alley-oops. Tips it, controls the rebound, and puts it back up. There's a little bit of pressure on him, but not enough to cause him to miss a shot that's in that close. And how about the awareness of Mitchell? That, that's what stands out to Sorry. me. He, he has a decision to make and does it with terrific timing. And the Bucks to Sutherland leading by five. Clippers keep it alive. Another one falls for the Clippers. And Bucks trail by seven. Can they get it? The shot's good. And he is extremely well set to score on all three levels. And it's Chris Middleton with the three. And he likes to get in a rhythm early. Nice triple. There's 49 seconds left here in the first quarter. Pass to Mickey. To the right side. Not a piece of it. back up. Nice touch on the bank shot. 12 points for him. Shoots. And so it's the Los Angeles Clippers with a 10-point lead. Some breathing room heading into the break. They're pounding the ball inside and that's where they've gotten their best production tonight. We'll take a quick break and then back to the action here. Out to the right wing. Five to shoot. From outside the arc, gets the three-pointer to fall. And that's what middle... Setting the floor for the Clippers. To the paint. And there's the second dunk to finish it all 11. Here's Mickey. No points in the game yet for him. Hammers the alley-oop through. Smart shots deep in the offense. Part of the lean years in Los Angeles, I, I was there, unfortunately. It's incredible to see that this franchise has become a better winning percentage team than the Lakers in the past. And Brent, that Clippers turnaround, did you see that coming? I mean, not in this way, Kevin. Certainly, it's been uh, a lot of 
outsized factors that have gotten and wanting to make this team viable. They're in position to make some great noise if they find their health. So healthy for the league to have two teams in L.A. that can be this good. Makes it off the glass. Yeah, and there it is in the way. About three minutes played so far in the second quarter. That one's good, and the Clipper lead is cut down now to just nine in the bucket from Dwight. Count the bucket coming off a perfectly placed assist. Los Angeles, they've gone four of seven from the field in this second quarter so far. That one falls. 14 points for him, and the Clippers will come the other way. Lucky seven drops in. He's perfect from the floor. Stay focused. Always a good sign of maturity and steps forward when you can take this kind of effort, focus, and concentration on the road to get a win. Here's Mickey after the basket by Los Angeles. Basket made just his second this time. Here's the three. And the last shot before the buzzer is off. And so it's Los Angeles enjoying a 12-point lead as they talk things over during the break. And their ability to get points in the paint has made all the difference in this one. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thanks very much. Here with Mike Budenholzer. Bud, what are you looking to clean up in the second half? Um, you know, I don't think our offense is really moving the way we wanted to, um, getting up and down the court in pace. And, you know, we got to make a few more open shots, but I think we can be a lot better offensively. We've seen that from your team, Coach. I'm sure it'll show up. Thanks. Back to you. All right, thank you, David. And, folks, don't go away. After the break, we'll see you right back here for the start of quarter number three. Hey, welcome back to the NBA on 2K Sports. This is Ernie Johnson. Kenny the Jet Smith is right here. Say hey to the folks, Kenny. Hey, folks. Say hey to the yeah, folks, folks, Shaq. Hey, folks. folks. Hey, let's get this party started. Okay. The Clippers have the edge here at halftime. They are leading by 12. Shaq, what was your takeaway on the Clippers? They're in good shape thanks to the work they're doing on the glass. Uh, their effort has been excellent. The numbers are, too. And I don't see those numbers. Right. They're going to keep doing the dirty work in the second half. Kenny, what was your takeaway on Milwaukee? They haven't been able to get anything going on the offensive end. And the lack of production doesn't just fall on the shoulders of the players. The game plan that the coaches have, it's whack. It doesn't work. Thanks for joining us, folks. We're now just a few minutes away from the start of the third quarter. And for the Clippers. The bucket is good. Three-point play chance here for him. And you'd like him to be a little bit more dependable on these in one opportunities and see that free throw percentage go up just a bit, but fending off the defense and showing them who the big man is. He's getting his first free throw attempt of the game here. Force on defense, but has those nights on offense where he can be imposing as well. Clippers moving the ball around. to the right wing. That one is good from Joel Embiid. To the left side wing. And Mitch Richmond hits from deep. Only working when he seems to be on the floor. A floater. And that one is hammered home. Timeout, timeout. Oh, how about the powerful move there on that slam from McAdoo? Not, not many are better than him at getting the job done on the interior. Best. Blake Griffin, he's checked in for Joel Embiid. Here's Mickey, still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring yet from him. Six to shoot. From the high post. Yep, it counts. Clearly on the defensive end, swats that one away. Banked in off the glass. They didn't have much of a problem getting the ball into the post that time. That was a second look at six. 
And the picture of consistency, Chris Middleton is like a metronome. Gives you 20 points over. And Milwaukee has gone two of two from long range in the third quarter so far. And one reason for Middleton's consistency, he plays at his own pace. And that's a great point, Kevin, and with his. And Donovan Mitchell hits from deep. Five. Take the open three when he's got it. Bucks passing it around. And it's blocked. And they get it back. And he makes that one. There's the pass to Mickey. And they're unable to get the tying basket there. Three quarters of play in a close game here. Clippers lead by two. And we'll get going after this from Milwaukee. to take the lead, and it's Kevin Love with the three. From 13, that's tipped. Now that reach of Dwight Howard is so impressive. A dominant shot blocker and a tremendous athlete. And a closer look here at the hustle stance for Milwaukee. The ball offense, I and mean, these guys have been on the track all game long. They're creating high percentage looks, getting out there on the fast break. Fouled in the act of shooting, gets the bucket anyway, so a three point play chance for him. Now that's an excellent play call to free him up from the defense. Well, taking advantage of that opportunity, it's gone here in the fourth. Nice ball movement by Milwaukee. Shot clock at five. Milwaukee needs to get off a shot here. Shot's good by Mickey. And great intensity here down the stretch. He's inside to take the lead. He lays it in. And the Clippers lead by two. Get the ball out of his hands. Got it. Good job in the low post. And the to go to your stars. Mitchell delivering. There's 154 left in the fourth quarter. Pass to Mickey. Shot clock at six. Fires the three. And Mitch Richmond hits from deep. Hockey, they've gotten just under 45% of their attempts to drop in the fourth or of nine. And it goes down in two points. That kind of looks like a predictable shot, one that they want. The defense rebound by the Bucks. Mickey in the post. And he drops in the way up off the glass. Mickey's got At all times. So it's Milwaukee picking up the win. It was up for grabs right until the final seconds. Yeah, and, and for me, Kevin, what stood out is just the, the overall trust this group has in one another when it matters most. Doing what had to be done and, and to send these fans home happy. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. For Greg Anthony, Brett Berry, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for watching the NBA presented by 2K Sports. And we'll see you next time.